But why does this have to happen to me right now? Just go. <sighs> Anyways, we will be looking at what PPSH is better in Call of Duty history. So, mm, there are three PPSHs total in Call of Duty history. First one, uh, when we've first been introduced to the PPSH, is, in fact, the World at War PPSH. That Treyarch, that, frick, that title is by Treyarch. So, that is our first PPSH. Our second PPSH is, in fact, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 PPSH. Well, actually, the World, War, World at War is called the PPSH 41. So, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 PPSH. <coughs> um, so, I have some gameplay of it in Black Ops 3 right now uh, in the background for you guys. But, um, and then third... And final version of the PPSH is Sledge Sledgehammer Games title Call of Duty World War II PPSH. So, with all that being said, we're going to look at stats, personal preference, and all around how good each PPSH is going to be for you guys to use. So, our first one, by the way, for sake the, for the sake of this video both world war 2 and world at war ppsh is called ppsh 41 so for the sake of this video i will be naming the world at war ppsh pps world at war, war i'm sorry world the world war 2 ppsh world war 2 ppsh okay so anyways and then uh, World at War, PPSH 41, and Black Ops 3, just regular PPSH. Not regular PPSH. You get what I mean. Um, so anyways, so we're going to take a look at fire rate for all three of them. So the, f mm, so the winner of the fire rate category is in fact... That, that drum roll sounded a lot better in my head when I was thinking of a script for this video, but whatever. Mm, the PPSH 41 from Treyarch's title, World at War. And then, coming in second place is the PPSH from COD Black Ops 3, and the slowest fire rate is, in fact, P the World War 2 PPSH. So anyways, mm, now we're going to actually take a look at recoil category. So, Recoil category, exactly how fire rate category is, just reversed. So, mm, World War II PPSH has the least, and then you guys can, you guys can, um, figure that out. So anyways, now we're gonna take a look at damage. So, the most, the winner of the damage category is, bum -ba -dum, PPSH, or World War II PPSH. So, why is because it has some very, very good damage, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really thrive in fire rate. So, like a lot of guns, such as Man of War and VMP, and like a lot of guns, it strives in one or the other. That's why good guns such as the XMC. Uh, also known as MNS MC, are so good because it strives in both categories, which that's very good. So, anyways, mm, the winner of that category, sorry, is the World War II PPSH. Coming in second, PPSH from Black Ops Three, and then coming in third is mm, PPSH Forty One. So. Then, now we're going to look at one of our, I think this kind of comes down to personal preference, but I'm not really going to judge, but anyways, now, uh, this is not our final category, but uh, we'll be taking a look at Iron Sights for the PPSH. Um, in this background gameplay, I am using a red dot sight, so sorry that I could not include that, but, um, uh, 
I'll try to after editing. If if so, there will be a there will be a picture right now, I think. Um, but that might not happen. <laughs> I'll try to make it happen. But anyways, um, so the best iron sights are the PPSH from Black Ops Three. That's the first one it actually won. Most of them it just comes in seconds. But anyways, the PPSH from Black Ops 3 has the best iron sights. And you might be thinking, well, um, uh, breath. Mm, World, World at War PPSH and Black Ops 3 PPSH have the same iron sights. But that's not quite true. Black Ops 3 PPSH's iron sights are the slightest bit more circular with a red, um... With a red dot in the middle. Mm, so. That is actually false. But anyways. So the leader of this category. And winner. Is the PPSH from Black Ops 3. Second place. Is coming in. Is have to be. Uh, hello. Where is my script for this part? Anyways. um, Will have to be. The last place is going to be. The World War 2 PPSH. Geez, didn't even have a script for that. Um, well, anyways. The World War II PPSH is coming in last for Iron Sights category. Now, our final category is going to be the... Range of the PPSH. So, the range of the PPSH is Actually, or all three PPSHs. I need to stop saying PPSHs. That just sounds horrible. Anyways, um, the range is going to be the winner of this category is actually going to be the P- the World War Two PPSH. Jeez, I can't even freaking like say it right. Um, the World War Two PPSH is the winner of this category. Second place, um, the Black Ops Three PPSH, and third place is going to be. Uh, the freaking, the freaking World at War PPSH. Anyways, mm, the PPSH 41. So, with all that tied together, um, if you guys can do proper math, which, which, <laughs> I can't. Um, the winner of, the winner of PPSH Showdown is actually going to be the World War Two PPSH. Mm, why is that? It may lack in in fire rate and iron sights but there's some ways to counter that one is going to be you can just throw a red dot sight on even though world world war ii sights from the beta like just sucked you can throw a sight on also they're not that bad like it's not freaking looking through an iron sights of an m8 a7 it's not like that but um So, they're not that bad. And fire rate, I mean, that's not... You can put rapid fire on. Also, that's not even that good. Because as you guys saw, when I did the fire rate, or recoil category, the the World War II PPSH strived because it had the lowest fire rate. So, the winner is going to have to be the World War II PPSH, like I already said. But, um... Just, if you're going to use a PPSH, November 3rd, get on that World War II if you pre-ordered it, and start using the PPSH, because it's a very, very good alternative, mm, even for such a low level. But, um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Um, it might be hard, a little hard to edit, but whatever. Um... I'll probably cut that part out. (laughs) But, um, anyways, I will see you guys later, and peace.